I'm here to do my October favorites. I didn't do one for the month before, which is September, and I don't think I did one for July because they're pretty much the same things. But I have to tell you that this month, the brand that I have been using the absolute most is Wet n Wild. Wet n Wild has been killing it in my collection. I went to Dollar Tree, to Big Lots, and to Dollar General. There were all kinds of Wet n Wild Fantasy Maker palettes. There are a bunch of little ones. I purchased about 10 of them just to get a Halloween look for, not just for me and the, my channel, but for my friends and a few family members for Halloween parties. And um, I want to show you some of the things that I've been using for those different looks. I didn't pull all the palettes to show you because it would take forever, but this one is from the Fantasy Makers. It's, the, it's their cream palette. It has a little glitters. The glitters are just an overspray, but this is really cute when I did a fairy makeup for a friend. And then it came with, the Fantasy Maker palettes came with eyelashes. This was the red one, and this is for the fairy one. I gave the eyeshadows to my friend after I had used them on them because I didn't want to keep it. But I kept the eyelashes since she didn't want them. And then it came with little tattoos, which I, we used one on um, Camille, who was going to be a cat. And it was really, really cute. So definitely check your Dollar Tree to see if they have any of the Fantasy Maker um, makeup palettes. This is the one that I kept for myself that I used as a vampire look. I'm trying to open it, sorry. And this is what the outside looks like. And this one had a red and a brown really really pigmented you have to build the red up a little but the brown is really pigmented but if you put the red on top of a white base it definitely pops there are several coats of that one so I use this for me when I was dressing up as a vampire and then for the two palettes that I the two products that I use for my video and also for um, personal Halloween looks the first one is another Fantasy Maker palette, and this one is the Painter's palette. And it has a cream base, and you can see that it's purple, black, <laughs> purple, red, white, and black. And it's very creamy, and I've used this for two years now. And then the base for all of the Halloween looks, not just for me again, but for others, I have been using the NYX eyeshadow base in white. And this is what it looks like. I am touching the bottom pretty much. I've gone through two of these. Not Like I said, not just for me, but for other people. So Wet n Wild was totally killing it for my Halloween looks and makeup costumes and just every day. Other products that I used for Halloween looks were the Jordana eyeshadow pencils. And I also use these for bases for my everyday looks. The two shades that I used the most were the Eternal White. And this one is Stay On Black. These two pencils were able to draw little designs. We did a kind of like a scarecrow look for one of the little kids using the Jordana pencils. And then for the black and white, we did Harlequin. Um, from Batman and really cute I did it on my friend Amy so these are amazing and you can use them again not just for costumes but for every day as bases or even as eyeshadows themselves now that have all the Halloween stuff out of the way I'm going to show you what I've been using for October on a daily basis starting with my eyebrows I have been using the Wet n Wild eyebrow pencil it's actually a brow and eyeliner pencil this one is in dark brown. They have several different shades is what I have on now. When I was blonde, I used the light brown to kind of transition from the dark roots brown blonde hair. And on my eyebrows, it just kind of looked really great. It's only 99 cents regularly. My Walgreens has these on sale every once in a while for 50 cents. So definitely check into the Wet n Wild eyebrow pencil. In Texas heat, it doesn't melt on my face. I don't have to worry about it shifting or moving. I have thick, kind of crazy, wild, unruly eyebrow hairs, and this keeps them in place. For eyeshadows, the two palettes that I have been grabbing the most, and I'm looking down for everything I have, are again Wet n Wild. Um, the uh, Drinking a Glass of Shade, 
or drinking a glass of shine it's the same palette and i have the, have it on now and it's just what i grab when i do a neutral eye it's just shades of brown it just looks good on me and then i've been using the blue had me at hello not just for my halloween look but when i want a smoky eye i just use the the matte black that's here and a little bit of this it's like silver, but it kind of goes like a gray. And then I've done blue looks with this. I just, this is just the two palettes that I've been grabbing the absolute most for the month of October. For eyeliners, I've been using two. One from L'Oreal, and it is the felt tip one. I don't really have the name of it because they don't put the name on the bottom of this one. But it's the felt tip that can do a really thin or thick line. And... It's pretty black. Just be sure to shake it up before you use it or else it kind of looks grayish. And then the other eyeliner that I've been using for October is the Urban Decay Perversion. I purchased it in a trio set. And again, we all know how black Perversion is. And it's nice and creamy. I will say that for my lower lash line, it doesn't last as long because as you guys know, I have watery eyes. So even when I set it with a black powder, it just doesn't stay on me. So I have to use a um, use it on my upper lash and then like the inner third. And then on the outer third, I use the L'Oreal because it's, it's waterproof. Those are the eyeliners that I have been using the most for the month of October. Getting into mascaras, I have been doing double duty with two different mascaras. First, I will put on the um, L'Oreal Miss Manga Mascara, and it's the pink one. And this is the brush. It's got that little triangular brush that's the flexible head that's... To me, I'm not sure what was the point of it, but I will put this on first because it kind of clumps my lashes. And then I go back with the Alme One Coat Get Up and Grow because the brush separates. And then that's what I have with my lashes now. I have average lashes. If I'm not wearing false lashes, this is what I do. Put one coat of the Miss Manga, another coat of the Alme Get Up and Grow. I can see the difference. I can see that they are separated and they look more distinct, but they don't look like false lashes. But I still like the way it looks. And then trying to get through this as quick as possible because I have a lot of makeup products. For concealers, I have been using the L'Oreal True Match Concealer. I have been using N67 and 8, and I depotted W67 and 8, and these two are the ones that I've been using. I'm going to have to depot this. I think I showed this to you guys last month, or the last time I did, a favorites. And then for powders, the two powders that I have been using the most, the one is actually I'm using as a highlight powder, even though it's supposed to be a face powder. And it is from Revlon. It is the Revlon Nearly Naked. And the shade I have is Medium Deep. And this is, you can see I have more than hit pan. It's pretty beat up. And I have it on again today. And I have it as a highlight powder. So it's underneath my eyes on the T-zone and then on the Cupid's bow. And it's light enough that I can use it as an everyday highlight without it being like Ben Nye banana in your face kind of white. I know that they have a deep. I just can't find it in my area. So I'm going to have to check maybe one of the um, areas around me that are geared towards African Americans and possibly find it. If not, I'll just try another setting powder. But I would definitely repurchase this. And the next powder that I want to tell you guys about is from Maybelline. It is the Fit Me and I am in shade 330 which is Car Toffee Caramel. I tried Caramel and it was a little too light so then I tried Toffee Caramel and it's, it's not exactly a match but it's better than just Caramel by itself. Um, it is like a goldener, goldener, a warmer or richer shade of caramel, which I like. So I definitely like it. I am going to try two more face powders once I finish with those two, just to see what's out there. 
and for blush you guys know i'm not a huge blush person i'm trying to get into it i am loving the nyx cinnamon blush this blush is the bomb i mean it looks good on me and you could do a light hand which i've done or you could go heavy handed when we were doing the harlequin look we used the red um i think i can't remember the name of the red blush from nyx and that one you do not need a lot a little goes a long way so i love how pigmented nyx blushes are and i'm definitely going to get some more but this is the one that i have been just grabbing the entire month of october and I will tell you that when I needed an orange eyeshadow and I wanted to just give myself an orange look with my eyes, I dipped into this. And this is really good. This is, <laughs> this is really good for an eyeshadow as well. And to the home stretch. For the lips, I am wearing Max Pink Plaid. It's a matte lipstick and I'm lining my lips in Jordana Easy Liner Loco Coco. Coco Loco. <laughs> These two are an amazing combo. I've been using it a lot this month when I want a pink semi-neutral lip. I j and it was on my Think Pink video. I just love how it looks. I am trying to get more into wearing pink. I actually thought pink wasn't a good look on my skin tone. So I'm embracing the pink. So I definitely like this when I'm doing another look with a pink lipstick which is kind of on the nude i'm using the Too faced melted peony and at first i was afraid that this wouldn't look really good on me but let me give you a swap that's melted peony on the side right here and when you line your lips and then put this on this looks really good and it stays on for a pretty long time i will apply it go eat breakfast, drink my coffee, get to work. Don't have to apply it again until probably right after I eat my lunch. And then I do another layer of the local cocoa as a lip liner and then the pink peony. And it's just really nice. A nice thin layer will spread across your lips and look amazing. So I'm definitely thinking of getting some melted. If not, I definitely want to try the dupes, which are, I can't remember the maker, but I'll, you know what I'm talking about. And then last, like I said, I've been embracing colors that I don't feel look comfortable on me, but I've been getting compliments. And this one is from L'Oreal La I Like You A Lot from their La Lac. Um, this was a limited edition and it is an orange. I was getting compliments like crazy for this and it's a reddish orange lacquer lipstick. And that's it right there. I honestly didn't think that this would look good on me, but I was, I knew that people were saying that orange was a great summer color. And I was like, okay, I'm just going to wear it for a week. And I got so many compliments. So it just goes to show that just because you don't think you look good in a color, give it a try, try different ways of wearing it either with a lip liner, trying different color lip liners, because you'd be amazed once you get comfortable in it, how your confidence exudes in your makeup skills. Because me and pink and me and orange, we're not best friends. Now we're acquaintances. <laughs> But that's pretty much it, guys, for what I've been wearing for the month of October. All the other things that you normally hear me talk about are pretty much the same. My skincare, my hair, my everything else, um, even my nails. I've been going back and using, dipping into the same nail polishes that I've been using for the last three months. Um, now that fall is coming, I know I'm going to be dipping into the deeper colors and I'm looking forward to that. Thank you again for watching. I hope you guys have a blessed week and I will check you guys out later. Bye.